When you think of bad acting, you probably think of pornography or even TikToks at this point. But when I think of bad acting, I think of training videos. For example, in workplace training safety videos, they always have like a some kind of feat of death. You know, they always got to top it from the last time. The last time they just had someone falling off a building, so this time they got to fall through a minced meat grinder and just come out into little chunks. So you'll have this person on the ground completely void of life. The scene you just witnessed was straight out of a slasher film. And then you'll have the trainee standing there oblivious to everything that's going on. But the, tr the trainer will look at him and say, now do you see that dead body right there? That's what happens if you don't practice workplace safety. And the trainee will be standing there looking around like a kid looking for his mom at Walmart and then go, Oh yeah, that dead body, huh? Yeah. And that's somehow supposed to make people be more safe on the job. So I figured today I would grab one or two really funny, really out of the blue training videos that I could find on YouTube and go over them with you guys. So this is somewhat of a training review. And the first one up here is gas and fuel employee training video number 4A, making it happen. Now, I just wanted to mention before this starts, the, the name in and of itself, gas and fuel, that not that kind of the same thing? It's like you're saying gas and gas or fuel and fuel. It isn't gas and fuel generally the same thing? Anyways, I'm thinking too much into this. I'm trying to put my tinfoil hat on. Let's just jump into it. You must be Chris, our new wide receiver. I'm Shelly. I'll be your coach. Nice to meet you, Shelly. But I'm a bit confused. Coach? Wide receiver? <laughs> it almost sounds like I'm a member of some sort of team. Exactly. Huh? So there's our little introduction to our main character, Chris. You know, he's a, st a stud of a man, a beautiful soul. Kind of looks like Forrest Gump if he put on some pounds and got a little bit more retarded. But nonetheless, this is our protagonist, Chris. The key is to keep an eye out for the details. Let's start with the self-serve snack station. The Gas and Fuel Cafe. Everything looks safe here. <laughs> Not so fast, Chris. Look closer. Aha! The microwave is running unattended. That's right. And there's a can of paint thinner inside. <laughs> what a loop they just threw us for on that one. Chris honestly made a rookie mistake. That's why he's getting trained. Obviously, a trained employee would have spotted that, that paint thinner in the microwave and stopped it before it even thought about happening. Whoever the menace to society that put that paint thinner in the microwave is, though, they should be on every no-flight list in the world. I wonder what else could be in the microwave. Maybe if you reach back in there far enough, there's a grenade or perhaps an M4, maybe even a baby. It's like sticking your hand up your mom's vagina. You just go in there so far, you don't know what you're gonna get. Well, I've checked every item on the shelf, and everything looks A-OK. -okay. Lesson number one, dangers aren't always found at eye level. Wow, <laughs> you're right, Shelly. I didn't even notice those rusty nails. Wow, Shelly, I didn't know that we was living in a crack shack. I didn't know that this gas station was a tetanus zone. And I'm guessing if he couldn't spot the simple rusty nails on the ground, he doesn't notice the homeless man that's squatting, taking a dump in the corner, or, you know, the man who's about to rob the place with a mask on outside. And that takes us to lesson number two. Always wear shoes. Got it. <laughs> Seems my idea about this guy being more retarded than Forrest Gump is coming to fruition. Say, Shelly, I see what you mean about dangers not always being at eye level. You know, Chris, I think you've got the hang of it. <laughs> Chris, look out! Well, I'm getting the hang of it. If this guy went to get clinically diagnosed, they would definitely give him a good old case of retardation and slap him on out the door. Wait, I know this one. The freezer door is open. Exactly. And if a customer weren't paying attention, they could run right into it. Or, if an infant were to crawl in, and then some guy walked by and shut the door, that baby could freeze to death in 20, 30 minutes. Uh-huh. Or suffocate. Chris sure seems to know a lot about the time it takes for a baby to freeze or suffocate inside of a freezer. Not saying he's a serial killer, but he's definitely killed a baby or two in his lifetime. He's just one of those guys that threw out traditional learning, said pff, math and science and English, forget all that. I don't need to know how to form sentences. All I need to know is the time it takes to suffocate a child in a freezer. He's oblivious to everything except the facts he doesn't need to know. At the beginning and end of each shift, take a mental survey of the store. Ask yourself, is this store as safe as it can be? Then make time to make it safer. 
I mean, if they're going to put paint thinner beside a microwave, they're just asking for you to microwave the paint thinner at that point. Yeah, sweep those nails up, big boy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's safe. Just push those, push those back in. That's safe. Not a fire hazard or anything. The store won't burn down in a couple days. Oh, a baby. Let's go, Chris. Chris is just the best, isn't he? Chris, let me ask you a question. Would you be willing to take a bullet in order to protect this store? Yes. I mean, no. I mean, Shelly. I mean, Shelly, what, what kind of question is that? Chris, are you willing to die for this store? I know you don't have much to live for, Chris, so I'm asking you right now, are you willing to die for this store? And I'm going to ask you again, Chris, will you die to save this store? I need to know, Chris. I need to know. <laughs> That's okay, Chris. I just wanted to get you thinking about our next area of training. Security. Robbery. Okay, this is going to be good. Believe it or not, even gas station convenience stores can fall victim to robbery. You don't say. I wasn't aware that gas stations were ever robbed. I wasn't aware that's probably like the number one place to get robbed. We about to witness a... Oh, okay. We got a little movie scene robbery going on here. If we don't get the money, Carlos is a dead man. Carlos. How do we get into this mess? Oh, I don't no. know, man. But I know one thing. Carlos is like a brother to me. I sure as hell not letting him get smoked for my mistake. This just completely flips the tables. It flips the script. Carlos has been kidnapped. These guys got to save their buddy Carlos. Carlos is in grave danger. He's going to die at midnight if he does not get this money to pay for Carlos's life. Everybody's been there. Everybody's had to rob a gas station for their buddy Carlos. It's just a known occurrence. So now we're introduced to our robbers here. We got Pantyhose Sniffer and Macho Libre. Oh no. Hands in the air, man. No funny stuff. Throw out the register. All of it. No, no, take it easy, son. Class sure A you want to do this. What did I tell you about the funny stuff? Now hand over the money or you're going to get a bullet in your head. Come on, man. Whoa. Hurry up. I think I hear the police. Don't go <laughs> panicking on me, man. What did I tell you about the funny stuff? I think I hear the police. <laughs> Who called the police? How, are the, how would they know you're here unless you snitched on yourself? I don't think they had that fast of a respond, Tom. I mean... Stay cool. This is going to be quick. Oh, don't now hit the button. Yeah, hit the... Sure no oh, baseball bat. Going. Obviously, you gotta take the baseball bat. Oh, okay. They're dead. One hit KO. He was a home, home run derby champion in high school. Oh, now he's picking up their own gun. Okay. He's the sheriff in town. Thank you for reminding me this was a reenactment and a training video. I thought I was just completely entranced in this action. I thought I was in the movie theater watching a Tom Cruise movie. You're gonna make it, man. Oh. You gotta make it Don't die. Carlos. No. Don't you go dying on me. Don't. For Carlos. Oh. Dead. No. Whoa! Oh no! 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 Oh! Oh! I can't look. It's too graphic. Oh, he's really unloading that clip. I'm no gun scholar, but I'm pretty sure he shot more bullets than he had in the clip. Still want to be a hero? No. Chris doesn't know what he wants to be, man. You can't ask Chris. You want to be a hero still? Chris will never be able to see the world the same again. He just witnessed murder. His six-year-old brain frequency is completely disrupted. He's not going to be able to play with Hot Wheels anymore. He's, a, he's fully developed into a grown man now. He's seen it all. Now let's look at the right way to handle the situation. This is a right. robbery. Get your hands Here we go. Take two. Yeah, press the button. Oh, okay. We give up. <laughs> Tom, 
Talk about response time, man. They, they must be located inside the police department. This, this gas station must quite literally be inside of the police station like a McDonald's inside of Walmart. That response time was instantaneous. It's like they were just waiting for him to press the button. They weren't going to intervene until the button was pressed. As soon as he presses that button, though, they pop up. You're under arrest. We give up. Remember, when in doubt, press the red button. That does not rhyme. That doesn't rhyme. Seems like there's a commonality between all old training videos. They all seem to be quite hy hysterically funny. None of them are serious at all. They have very, very bad acting. And it's just overall, it's just something that you just wouldn't expect from a training video. And there's also many more examples of some crazy training videos. But I thought this one was quite literally, quite frankly, one of the funniest and one of the best ones I've seen. I sat here for a good hour watching training videos, so I got my good feel of entertainment while I was doing this, but nonetheless, that's all for today. We got to see Chris, which is Forrest Gump's even more retarded cousin is what I'm going to refer to him as, and that's all for today. I'll see you next time. Peace out. And remember, it only takes 20 to 30 minutes for a child to freeze to death in a freezer.